All right, today we're going to go over how A to Z uh, does a recording. So we use Zoom as our backbone for the recording. Um, and then we set up in our little tech world. We can record, you know, eight plus people at a time. Um, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So first step is hit the power button. So we're going to come right here. That one power button is going to turn on absolutely everything in the studio. Once we hit that power button, we're going to wait probably five, ten seconds, make sure everything turns on. Uh, Multiview is going to turn on the switcher, all of our recorders, the audio mixer, everything. So once we do that, next step is to set up the laptops. So uh, what you see here is these laptops up top are all for Zoom. On the bottom is for extra things, whether that's live streaming, uh, graphics, PowerPoints, whatever that is. First thing we're going to do, we're going to turn on the laptops. Notice we're getting a little color uh, distortion here. All we have to do to fix that, and that's very normal for when turning on a computer or something like that, we're just going to unplug and plug back in the USB-Cs. Unplug, plug back in. Every single laptop here is using two outputs, okay? Plug, back that, plug that back in. I'll go ahead and quickly do that for all of them. All this is doing is forcing the computer to reevaluate the output that it's going to. And then it will get rid of the color distortion there. Okay, so now we're going to see all of the laptops showing up here. They all look good. Their color's correct. Um, so next step then is to open up Zoom. Uh, the way we're going to do this, because every single computer has two outputs, uh, I can't see what's on those other outputs right now. So I'm going to use this little controller here to change what's on our A and B monitors. That way I can see everything. I'm going to hit these buttons, and we're going to see that uh, I can see each and every multi-monitor um, setup. So I will go ahead and start over here with Zoom number four. Um, and hit OK here, and just simply join a Zoom call. So open up Zoom. There's my Zoom call. Well, I need to get my credentials, right? So we're going to go to the host computer. And up on the host computer here is going to be our login for which our A to Z login. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting. And we actually have a meeting starting in the next uh, 30 minutes. It's at 3, and it's currently 2.20, so this is actually the perfect time to do it. Uh, currently, I'm just getting video feedback, which is fine, um, and I can change that here. Okay, so host meeting is on. Let's go find the credentials. All right, the meeting ID, and I'm going to just join that everywhere. Real simple. Um, another way that we've done this is we have a Google Doc that's simply open on every single computer. Um, so I've joined the meeting. It's waiting to be admitted. So I'm going to go ahead and admit this computer here. Okay, so now I'm in the meeting. Notice I have two Zoom windows open. I have a secondary window and a main window. I'll go ahead and hit click with computer audio and then hide that screen or turn off the mic, sorry. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these windows. There's my mouse. I'm going to go ahead and move these windows so that my secondary window is on B, full screen, and that my main window is on A. So now I see that I have full screened both Zoom windows here. And if I go over and look at my multi view, you can see that on Zoom 4A and B, we're full screened. That's the process we're going to repeat now for all four Zoom computers. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so now that we have logged into Zoom and set up our primary and secondary displays for each laptop, and you can see them here, that's 4, 3, 2, and 1. Um, they all have a primary and secondary. The, another thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we can control all of these screens without ever touching them. Right? If we have to put our mouse over the screen, then we're recording our mouse click. And we don't want to do that mid-show. So what we're going to do here is right now we can see we have a little uh, 
extra couple boxes here that we can click on and decide what we want to put on any of these screens up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up, really simple. All you have to do is go up to your window and select the speaker view. Once you do that, you're gonna see a bunch of boxes pop up here on this screen. This now allows me to select what I want on my main and my secondary Zoom call screens. So I can hop down here and I can hit these three dots and I say, you know what, I really want this to go on my first, it's called pinning, pin this onto my first display here. And then I can go over here and I can pin this one on my second. And now I have two different camera angles showing up on these two screens all via Zoom. That's really helpful. So when we have participants, I want to put one participant on Zoom 2A and lock them there. Make sure they cannot ever get off of Zoom 2A. Same thing with a different person on 2B. So that's how you do that. Uh, let me go ahead and do that for my last Zoom call here. Click speaker view. And then I'm simply just going to hide my video on all of these laptops. No reason for me to show our clients, you know, 10 different angles of me. Cool. So the audio is muted. Uh, the video is hidden and now all my laptops are set up. So now we're just going to make sure that our multi view looks good. We're not doing anything too crazy on our outputs and then set up our recorders and we're good to go. So in order to set up the multi view and everything, we have our nice switcher here. We're going to turn off any overlays that are currently on. We can check our downstream key, turn off anything there. Uh, so we're good to go. We don't have any overlays running. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all of my controls work here. Obviously I can see that one of my stream decks is not even uh, being recognized by the software. This is companion. Hop into companion launch the GUI, go to surfaces, and hit rescan. Now it's going to find all of the controllers that are hooked up into it, and this will allow me to easily set up all of my recorders. So go to setup, and then right here on the main page, I have a bunch of different uh, default setups that we do. I can hit output, uh, default output set, Click that and everything is going to change in the software to exactly where it should be. Now that's set up for when we do in-studio recordings, but we want our recorders to have uh, all of the Zoom computers on it, not the physical cameras that we have. And if you look over here at the Hyperdex, you'll see right now that all of these Hyperdex are showing uh, either cameras, you know, we have our top-down shot, our text shot, our program shot, but we want to record all of the Zoom calls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our Hyperdex page here. And if you zoom in on that, you can see right here we have the Hyperdex page. Click on that guy. And there's only one option in the Hyperdex page, which is a Zoom recording, exactly what we want to do right now. So click that button, Zoom recording, and you're going to see all the Hyperdex change. Great. So now all of our Hyperdex are ready to go. I can see all of them here and they're recording Zooms two, three, and four. Well, you might ask yourself, well, why are we not recording Zoom laptop number one? We usually reserve Zoom laptop number one for a green room, whether that's a watch party or something to throw the participants in before they're live. That's usually what we reserve Zoom laptop number one for. Um, but if we need to record them, we could easily add more Hyperdex, add more outputs, whatever we wanted to do, switch around people, have them there as a backup, whatever that may be. So now that we're completely set up, and usually we can do this in about one to two minutes, get completely set up from being off to totally on. Um, now we wait, we're set up, we're ready to go. Uh, I can go ahead and check my audio, right? So I'm gonna go over here to the mixer. And what I wanna record is what's going live to the recorders. Um, so you can see the mixer here, our live uh, settings are right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring up, uh, currently it's labeled DJ Laptop, which happens to be our host computer right here. So I'm um, gonna bring up DJ Laptop, that's gonna be our audio levels coming from Zoom. If I wanna go, I can go to the stage speaker here and I can go ahead and I can let the stage speaker output a little bit of what's going on. That way I can hear all of the Zoom uh, participants. 
I can go, what am I going to send to Zoom? Well, what I want to send to Zoom is only one thing. I just want to send me, my voice, right? And that's the tech mic. So I can go ahead and send that to the Zoom call. Um, and this way, they're going to be able to hear me when I talk them through tech checks and things like that. Double check. I got my Zoom call going to my recorders, my Zoom call going to my stage speaker, and I am going to the Zoom call. Audio is good to go. Now we wait. 